best. The one absentee is Mick Shannon, his deputy Robert Rosario, who's just 19 and making only his third appearance of the season. Newcastle have rather had to rush back their striker, Tony Cunningham, because George Riley was hurt in a car crash last week. The team is supervised today by coach Willie McFall, with Jack Charlton away scouting for new players. And Newcastle are now resigned to losing Chris Waddle. So Waddle plays his last game for the club this afternoon before his summer transfer to Tottenham. The referee is Alf Buksch, now from North London, but born and bred in Fiji. Newcastle United still need a point themselves to be mathematically safe. And Norwich City, in their dreadful recent run, have lost each of their last three home games. And are badly in need of the impetus of a goal. It's in that department where they've been suffering. Here's Paul Haylock. Asa Hartford. The early striker goal, accepting the responsibility, was Steve Bruce, who has cleaned up in the awards here at Carrow Road for Norwich City's Player of the Season. His first season with the club, of course. And he's Newcastle-born. constructed by Norwich down the left-hand side and then as Byron swung in the cross it was eventually Donawa who reached it and just look how close Robert Rosario was to scoring Bruce venturing forward wherever possible Dave Waddle a taste of his own medicine then Driving for had arrived then. Hartford's corner, a lot of numbers for Norwich on the near post, and the ball flicking on where Bruce dived in and one handed Thomas somehow kept it out. Rosario, nicely judged, and by Donawa. And ball, Kenny Wharton, Norwich free kick. Newcastle being stretched at the moment at set pieces. Glenn Roder trying to supervise the positioning of his fellow defenders. Bruce. Work to safety by Anderson. Even the conceding of throws is giving Newcastle problems. Bruce bearing the trick, Barham. Another slapped away by Rhoda. Bruce again. And Donawa! Well, may he shake the head. And every 
chance that slips by, of course. Marich is quite worsened. Although they're having very much the better of this first half. Donoa here, still unable to hit the target. Okay, Norwich have massed into the middle. Rosario. It's an encouraging header for him to win. Anderson. And the flag has stayed down this time, and rightly so. Watson was playing them onside. McDonald. And it's Pat Hurd from some five yards who could have punished Norwich City then. They were caught square at the back. And the linesman allowed McDonald to go on. And when he looked up, he saw Pat Hurd tearing into the middle and taking it on the volley. Hurd couldn't control the shot. Donald well found by Dean. And here is John Dean. be wondering when the next one is going to go in the shortage of goals recently certainly to a large extent down to lack of support in the striking role with the team not functioning fully kick taken by Van Wyk and he's lost it Dean off the line Kenny Wharton with Newcastle half expecting a whistle and Norwich watch and wonder and think what have they got to do to score they have picked up their rhythm again in the second half Donovan Sneaking in behind Wharton. Haylock. Dockwa. And Rosario. It's on to the top of the net. And that's what Norwich are looking for from him. And this strongly built 19-year-old doing his very best to rise to the occasion in more ways than one. in a line for Newcastle and Beardsley the gap opened up for him it's hit the post and McDonald the chance is still on and a let off for Norwich City the whip of the goalpost away from what at this stage of the game would surely have meant defeat from Peter Beardsley
it's an auxiliary forward now and he's halted at the last at the cost of another free kick It's Bruce and it's Dean into the wall. Bruce again and Wharton scrambles it behind. And the support that Ken Brown was calling for before the game will surely be forthcoming for Norwich now. Rosario. Mendham. Norwich felt there was an infringement in there. Peter Mendham charging to the referee who waves away the protests. Maybe Norwich clutching at straws now. Beardsley who goes it alone and can't find a way past Woods. Well, with Peter Beardsley in their ranks, the Newcastle fans will be saying that they won't miss Chris Waddle. That was a splendid run. The final whistle, and a point is all Norwich City have, and their first division lifeline, as Ken Brown knows only too well, hangs now on the shortcomings of others, and whether they can gather three points from their last match at Chelsea on Tuesday.